What's up, people? My name is Douglas John. I'm a visual artist based here in Joss, and I am on Create with Eddie Can. I grew up in the city of Joss. I was born and brought up here in the city of Joss. I studied banking and finance from the University of Joss, after which I moved on to serve my country. After service here, I, I went on job hunt, which I didn't get, but I later got to work as a waiter in a restaurant somewhere. Then I figured, yo, this was taking so much of my time, then I had to quit to pursue my passion in arts here. And that has been my journey so far. So from 2019 till date, I've, I've been consistent in the arts business. My childhood experience was quite fun because I had lots of friends to play, to play with due to the fact that, yeah, I grew, up, I grew up in the streets. And if you know Joss very well, you know that way back Joss was peaceful, but it got to a point where we had issues. But like, I'm glad Joss is coming back life now well i see creativity as okay i see creativity as just playing around with ideas you get you you think of an idea and you think of ways to you know manipulate your way around it well i was born an artist because i've been drawing ever since i was i was a child you know but i didn't think i'll pursue it as a career in the future because you know how our parents used to be those days they feel the only courses careers once you follow are courses like law engineering um doctor and the rest but as 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 life turned out i studied banking and finance as i mentioned earlier and looking for jobs that pro that proved um futile i went i had to go back to who i was born with yeah, one of the persons that influenced me as an artist, or some of the people that influenced me as an artist, were ba Banksy. There's there's Cobra Street Art. There's a guy named Cobra too, and then Leonardo da Vinci as well. Anytime is my favorite time to create. You know, the creativity for me comes with moods. I could just be in my thoughts and then feel the need to create and then i go on ahead to you know put down what i have imagined in my head so there's there's really no specific time for me to create but i would prefer creating at night because that time i have nobody disturbing everywhere is quiet and i'm just it's just me and myself you know creating stuff i'm still in the developing phase yeah because as i mentioned earlier i studied banking and finance which has nothing to do with art so i'm just in the whole process learning all i can to just get better in every way i can my i believe my art has influenced the society in a positive way because i always get positive um feedbacks whenever i complete an artwork yeah I, I use the word complete because in the beginning stages of my art people just see and wonder yo what's this kid doing because the first stages of art is never ever beautiful but once i continue the whole process see the end people be like oh wow this is beautiful so this is what you are doing i love your works and that makes me feel really good and want to do more Success to me is being happy for what you've accomplished and honest to, to be to be honest I would say I'm I'm a successful artist because art is something I love I love to do and you know you know the vibe you get when you do something and you get paid for it even though I know I've not reached the level I want to reach yet but with time I'll get there art helped me or art has rather helped me in other areas of my life because I see things differently from other non-artisans in the sense that, okay, let me say, 
for example i could see someone now in my head i could just create a character from that person I'm, i've seen it gets art has helped me to see people differently it's basically just being consistent art, art is all about consistency the more you do it the better you get at it so okay so i get most of my ideas from social media from instagram from pinterest and yeah basically instagram pinterest and movies i watch that you know promote artworks over the years as i you know surf through the internet i come across different artworks that motivate me and make me want to you know create more art pieces like the ones i come across on you know like on, on movies social media and animations yeah yes my art has changed over time because i could remember starting from the board that was in primary school i used to all those christmas time where you draw the father christmas the, the santa claus on the board so i moved from there to drawing on paper where i began making portraits of people from there i moved to drawing on clothes so there's this secret there's there's one secret i'm about to share with you which is i was i was scared of colors like i was really scared of colors if you look at my my first works they're mostly pencil or biros that was because i was scared of colors as i didn't start as art was not something i studied in school i was just you know it's a self-taught self-taught stuff so from clothes then i moved to canvas and then from canvas i've moved to you know large murals large paintings on the wall like the one behind me here yeah so i like to dress differently like why i put on i like to put on stuff that yeah it's maybe me and just one other person in every hundred people around you know so like art has influenced almost every aspect of my life because i want to do things differently from other people yeah basically my favorite art is murals drawing on the wall like doing large works i love doing large works a lot because people resonate more to that like imagine just stepping into a place and then seeing a large art on the wall you will just get lost in it you want to figure out what the what the artist what message the artist is trying to pass and then why he you know embarked on doing such a great task yeah i have a network of artists and we're just few in number for now because i i like to work with the best and people with the same focus as me so i have i have on my team nendunu shandin ceo of runensha enterprises a very good artist and a loyal friend and then i have a couple other artists i work with i've heard a whole lot of stuff about my work right like from the time i began to where i am right now some people liked some people liked what they saw other people criticized that no i didn't do this well this is not supposed to be this way and then but i didn't get offended you i only channel the energy towards getting better at it that's what i do to critics all critics know how to do is to talk when they cannot do better so i just once i get criticized i just look for where i have faults and work you know try to improve on those little faults i, I come across here my recent work that went viral was the mural i did for the presidential candidate peter ubi i did that because i had a special interest in him because after seeing all the candidates um coming out for the presidential elections i i you know researched and found him to be the most qualified among all of them so that led me to do the mural and it went viral because nigeria it just needs rescue right now i felt i could use my art to speak for the voiceless and so far so good that worked out well for me because 
finished. The moment before I even finished that particular job, it had already trend it, it had already peaked on twitter yeah like i i saw so many posts so many retweets and comments and i was overjoyed that yeah i could actually make an impact if i find out something is not working the way i want it to i stop all i'm doing and focus on that particular thing i i research i i put in i put in efforts to see that yes I've overcome, I, I overcome whatever obstacle is in my way because nothing is impossible. I believe, I believe nothing is impossible and I don't let anything stand in my way. My advice to young creatives out there is to be consistent in whatever they believe in. And because this world is not just physical, it's more spiritual than physical, you should also include prayers in whatever you do. Be very prayerful because there are so many forces your eyes cannot see that are working against you accomplishing your goal so in all you do just be prayerful be consistent and the universe will do its thing for you yeah